morning, you ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to a game called Observation. It's the next game by the developers No Code, who are the people who made Stories Untold. And Stories Untold turned out to be a bit of a sleeper hit for me because I knew it was going to be decent, but it ended up blowing me away. It was an incredible game, full of a lot of atmosphere, a lot of story, a lot of depth, and a lot of cool ideas. So I'm very, very excited about this. We- I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the plot or the story. I was just- I saw their names attached to the game. I was like, cool. I'm in. I want to play this. But clearly it takes place in space. It takes place in space. Uh, subtitles, yes. Sync to audio? Yes. I don't know why you wouldn't want your subtitles to sync to audio. I don't, want, don't know why you wouldn't want anything to sync to audio. Things should be synced. Like the Titanic. The sank. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about this. I don't know what's happening. Looks like space, it's dark. There, there we go. Ah, okay, so Observation is the name of our space station. Makes sense, good name. Sounds like observation's not good at observing. That's so cool. software for my voice is doing this exact same thing. The frequency spectrum. Voice print errors detected. Emma Fisher. What? Uh, accept? Great. Thanks, Sam. That's good. Is Sam the computer? Sam, are you there? Respond. Online status. God, there's so much information going on. Systems administration and maintenance online. Hold R to enter response mode. This reminds me of playing, um, what was it, Event Zero? Is that what it was called? Jesus. Possible match. I am here. Oh. Sam! Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Whoa. The visuals are so nice. Great. Listen, I'm stuck <laughs> in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Looks good to me, fam. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just pretend to be a robot. Uh, module 9. Oh man, it's so like... I love this type of alien, the movie type of vibe, where everything is like super high-tech, but some of the technology looks low-end. 
Safe, uh, pressure safe, power low, hole contacts true, system links connected. Seems good to me, fam. Oh, and I can actually repeat last command. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9, hull contact points. This is fun! Adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Can do! Uh, so we're in 9, so let's check 10 and 8. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this one's bad. Module 10. Hull contact points to 12 read false, suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. That's bad, right? Gosh, might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Sam! Hey! The hatch door is jammed shut. I have a body! <sighs> Oh, freaky glitches. Sam, are you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? What the hell is going on? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! Bring that? her! Oh, sweet Jesus! Okay, all in. Absolutely all in. I love space stuff. I love trippy, weird, anomaly shit. Hopefully there's a good deal of sci-fi and a little bit of supernatural in there. Fuck me up. Don't kick the camera. Hi. What just happened? I... Oh, I think I blacked out. Seems that way. This isn't good. This isn't good. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? Oh! Is the AI going to become sentient? There's no sentient AI! You telling it to run diagnostics on itself, it's not going to answer truthfully. Does anyone speak code? <laughs> Where's Neo from the Matrix when you need him? We're all, I also curious what um what we crashed into because at first it's like oh we just collided with a satellite or something. Maybe a big demon came. Uh, memory code error, crew tracker error. Are they supposed to be red? Module relocation network is non-operational. Crew assist required. Okay. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Okay. Appreciate that. Core one sweep, ninety five percent degradation. That's not good. Ninety three percent degradation. Eighty seven. Give me a seventy nine. Ninety seven. Damn it! It was the other way around. Uh, okay. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Okay. Now I get why they said, uh, sync to audio. 
So the subtitles don't just all appear at once, they move as the game is saying them. That's nice. Um, okay, tracker power, status monitor, crew identification network. Let's just check all of these. Okay, location sensor array, that's good. Vital sensors, those are also good. Those are vital, actually. And tracker power stations monitor. Okay, good. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Am I all alone in this station? Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. Well, the voice acting's Come really good and the dialogue's really good too. Now. Run a test. Okay. What do I run a test on? Looks good. Oh, I'm just testing the camera. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Oh, that's trippy. Yep, this works. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Awesome. There should be a System Links Reset Procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Okay, zooming in. Uh, wait, what, what was I looking for? Uh, something document on the wall. Okay, let's go back over here. Combustion unit, no, oh, is this it? Aha! Got it. That's an incredible zoom. System link reset. SAM OS procedure system link reset shows terminal input code that allows a crew member to reset SAM system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station-wide. Only perform it for full reset. Gotcha. Okay, how do I... How do I go back? Okay. There. Backspace. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Okay. Hatch controls. System integrated. I know what all of these things mean. Is this hatch controls? Feels like it would be. Okay. Oh. Good. good. Oh. Looks like that's working. Thank you. Add another. Add another, she says. Another! Okay, let me just scan around. Now, power caddy. Gotcha. Okay, I turned it off. Put the power on, please. Okay, anything else I can interact with on this end? Let's just keep cycling and see what happens. Combustion unit! Can't interact with you. Or you. Can I do anything else? Oh. Spheres, best practice. Guidance spheres, best practice. Hey, one of those is on the table. Development and control of microgravity guidance spheres and observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. That's me! Operator interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphical user interface, or a GUI, that can be located at crew member workstations and is planned and is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. 
Okay. There's nothing else on that. Offline connection sphere. Can I not, not dick around with it? Ah, there we go. Hatch control. There you are. Okay, three, four, one. Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Is, is this, is this good? Isn't that what I just did? Schematic. It's telling me to right click for the schematic, but I can't. Oh wait, maybe the other hatch controls over here. Yeah, there we go. What you got for me? Okay, I'm such a smart robot man. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. Ha -ha! it Good work, Sam. Thank you! Okay. Welcome to my room! Okay, Here's my sphere. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Oh, she's a face! You're cute. Josh, if you're in EAS module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. We'll work something out. Sam's Josh. on the case. Houston? Anyone? Oh, that'd be so scary. Be trapped up there alone what? with nobody else to talk to? Wait a minute, Sam. Our internal communication network is fully online. But where has everyone gone? Oh shit. Okay, station alert, station alert. By all means, keep talking to yourself at least. Right, Sam. You should have access to your OS now. Huzzah! I can access my own brain! Oh, I just have OS systems anytime I press you the space. You can now to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm at least. Holy shit! Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. I can't go to my memory core. Find the fire! Okay, uh, US 3. I think she's clear, y'all! Uh, US 4. Okay, well this feels like a place that would have a fire in it. Definitely a fire! Uh, fire, fire here! There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way! Wait, where are you? US 8? Look at her go! Emma? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Hi! Good job, Emma! Keep going! You got this! Whee! Fun! I guess I should be adding system links to everything, right? Where is schematic data not found? Jeez. Sam. Okay. Oh, wrong button. The hatch in EAS six is locked down. Can you get it open for me? On it. I'm a smart boy. I'm the world's greatest computer. One second there, Emma. And open. It's open. I'm on my way. Good shit. Relocate to EAS-3. <laughs> Look at her I'll go! Need your help when I get there. That's so cute! Uh, EOS-3, cool. I want to add a system link to this, though, first. I need to be system linked to everything. Just in case something goes out of control and I have to cut it off like an alien comes in. What do we got, Emma? Talk to me. Where's the control for this? Emma, you're blocking the system link. Emma! Add 
The EAS pull hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Okay, I'll go over here then, because you're being a butt. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. <laughs> On three. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Go, go, go! That's it. Come on! <laughs> Eat CO2, bitch! Sam, it, it didn't work. Get the vents on in here. Okay. Clear these fumes. Hey, it's done. I, I didn't know what was happening there for a second. Um, I don't know what direction I'm in. Where are the vents? They might be up on top. I don't know where the vents are. Don't worry, Emma. At any minute, I am liable to figure something out. Extractor vents! Haha! <laughs> there we go. Opening in three, two, now! Nice. Oh, that's good. That's satisfying. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. I did it. Are you proud? How bad is it? Pretty bad. Uh, damage report. Okay. Uh, shit is fucked. <laughs> the rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. Okay. What oh. started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Uh, this Residue one. you on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Emma, you're so smart. An orange. Side. Don't be what an alien. That? It's like a thick grease. Oh, this is oh, bad. Oh. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Emma, I'm pretty sure that that's an alien. Severe stress warning, EAS-12. significant stress being applied to EAS-12. EA Sports. Recommended. It's in the 12. Zoomies! <laughs> there she goes! Flying through the air with the greatest of ease. If there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. Can I go to 12? We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. Okay, she teleports constantly. It's getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. One, four, four, two, four, one, three, three, two, four. Did I really just put that in right? Uh, okay. <laughs> Can't believe I did that properly. Nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Oh, we're Hurry, such a good Sam. team. Target the jets and push the module away safely. I don't know what I am doing. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Oh. Oh, that's how I do it. That was confusing. Okay. Is everybody okay? Sam. We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. So this one was breached. I think we're okay. And the air pressure was causing us to spin the whole thing? I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Yes. All what's left of it. I want to see the whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle. I want to see space. The signals are weak and 
distorted. Your moves are weak. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. This Can is so cool. Damage, Sam? Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. There's a thing here that it's not letting me stay on it. Structural damage detected. EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. Yes. What would do that? I don't know, but I'm into it. Okay, what about this one? Oh, responded. Okay. Anything else? Any damage to anything down here? The primary solar panel array on the EAS arm has been torn off. That explains the lack of power. Okay. I already responded. Same thing. All right. Uh, I can also switch cameras, which I might have to do. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Well, you know what, Emma? At least the cameras are all right. Stuff on this side actually doesn't look too bad. And giving it all clear on this one, Emma. Let's go to camera three. Is this a damage? This is a damage for sure. Are you arm upper modules are badly damaged? The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. It's called my hands. We see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Yes. I want to see Earth. I don't know, do you have 90 minutes? We're in, we're around Saturn? I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Oh, that's the thing, it said bring her. This is some inter interstellar type of stuff going on. This is great! I don't know. Ooh, I love that. That's fucking awesome. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, I'm liking this a lot so far. I didn't know that this is how the gameplay was. That I was just an OS going around the ship. Oh, yeah. Give me all of it. Give me aliens, give me black holes, give me time anomalies, give me wormholes. Give me all that shit. That's my- some of my favorite things. Time travel. Space-time anomalies. Crazy weird shit. Hidden messages. Secret overlords. Creepy robots. This- this has got everything. Whatever's going on in the background is probably a big hint as to whatever the hell the game is about, but I have no idea. But I'm really into this so far. I love 2000 Mon Space Odyssey, I love Interstellar. I love anything like this. I love spider webs. I know, I hate them, they're super annoying. Anything got to do with, like, traveling across space through wormholes and... Oh, time changing and all that stuff. Oh, I eat that stuff up. It's the best. Anything got to do with time travel in movies or... Stories at all.
I restarted your core systems. 2026. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. <laughs> and anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay, time to analyze this shit. That looks good. That looks like a voice for sure. Accept. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so... You got really nice eyebrows. different here. All right, grab sphere. Okay. That's audio, at least. Almost there. Just a sec. There we go. Nice. Do I get to float around in this little ball? Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. Yes! You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. Woohoo! It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non station devices. I thought there was a person behind her, I saw legs. It's just a suit. Jesus, that scared me. Uh, looking good, Sam. Okay. Thank you. You too. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Wee! <laughs> cool. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. She's a little difficult here, Emma. It's like controlling a small child. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. Is this, is this good? You should be able to identify objects and draw information <laughs> to me like any other camera. Right now. Uh, I don't know, how do I... How do I respond to your thing? Uh, oh. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. Cool. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. This is comprehensive. Tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Ah. Reconnect to your sphere now. I, I don't really want to. Oh, it gives me a little feed as well. Give me the feed of all of them. That's cool. Map data missing. Map data missing. Okay, so I'm on the European and American Space Agency arm. European and American Space. So the EAS. But apparently we should have a universal, a Russian, and a Chinese one. Oh, you can see it up at the top right. The different, the middle is like universal. And then some of the arms are Chinese and Russian. That's cool. Uh, okay. Great. I can't believe that all actually worked. You're a genius, right. Emma. So, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The oh. solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. 
I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. Okay. I have to find an experimental fusion reactor. No big deal. I want to see what's in this one. This one looks important. Environment sensor. Okay. A document. Haha, I can read. EASA and USES would like to continue the exploration of alternative station power when solar panels are not reliable or in low light environments. Hey, this is exactly what I need. It's important that the sample data of each test run is regularly collated. At no point should the EFR be switched to station mode without an executive order and should remain on the test circuits. Nominal range, experimental range. Okay. Let's system link into this. Locked? What do you mean locked? I am in control here. I am Mr. Robot Man. I'm the one with all the power. Connection sphere required, okay. Can I actually just explore the whole station as a little robot man? I'm gonna be wally as fuck. Um, okay. So I'm in 11 right now and I need to get to 1? Oh, Jesus. Alright, wait, there's a legend here next to me. <laughs> there's a legend here right next to you. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Uh, astrophysics terminal, link conduit, biomedical, coolant network, crew tracking sensor, mainframe life support, gains of navigation, airlock controls, captain's module, crew bunk, EFR. EFR, so it is down here. I need to bring my little robot man all the way down. Okay. Alright, see you later, Emma. I'm gonna head out and hang out with my friends. Don't wait up. This is hard to control. Okay, I'm going this way. Now I'm in EAS 8. Making my way downtown. Flying fast. Hatches pass. I'm a tiny sphere. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, where am I now? Hey, I'm in 5. Sam, Don't like you? that. I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, God. Don't scare me. Oh, okay. I've switched off a few other systems. Seems to have helped. Sons of bitches. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. I'm working on it. Wait, where am I now? I'm in four. I don't need to be in four. I need to be in the other one. Let me turn around and boost on down. I'm a great little robot man. I'm really trying my best here. Hatch control. Lock it! What do you mean, lock it? I'm gonna bypass some shit. I'm gonna do some. Some robot trickery. EAS hatch schematic. Okay. Technical diagram of the EAS hatch door schematic layout. This allows the user to force commands on the equipment. Okay, you should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. Okay. L4 hatch lock. Am I supposed to memorize these? I don't think I'm going to be able to. I can't remember how the fuck. Um, hold the view schematic. Okay. So L4. It's down three, one, one, two, three, four, and down one. Okay. One, two, three, four. 
Error, hatch is locked. I know that! That's what I'm trying not to do! Oh, hatch unlock. I should be doing L3. Okay, so... Two in. One, one two, three, four, five down. This is confusing! I'm just gonna take a fucking picture. <laughs> take a fucking picture! I'm using my human brain to do this. Okay, so we go two down. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Start here, we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Down, down. Ha <laughs> I am a genius! I didn't cheat! Shut up! I think I was gonna remember that shit. Um, okay. Time to possess my ball again. And away we go! Alright, I need to get in here. Fusion reactor. how that thing works. It was something Josh was working on. You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. Oh. Do what you can, just get it online. I mean, I'm a great little robot man and everything, but come on. Please repeat your previous No, 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 no. Please get the EFR, the fusion reactor, online. Enable contaminant. Containment. On. Inject plasma. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Just magnet strength. Oh, W and S. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Plus 67, 84, 23, 100. But how do, how do I do it? Move cursor, select. Okay, I have selected. Adjust magnet strength. Oh. I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with these. Okay. Should I be setting all of them to 100%? Alright, I'm just gonna set everything to 100. Oh! Safe! Oh! Now I get it! Safe! Shit! Okay, I'm not gonna have time to do this. Come on. You're safe already, good. Come on! Oh, come on! I have to go all the way back down! Shit! Okay, I'm not gonna make it on this one either. Crap! I got so close! I'm gonna blow up this whole space station by accident! Okay. Let's go again, babies! I forget which ones have to go up and which ones have to go down. You have to go down, I imagine. Yep. Oh wait, no, you were unsafe. What am I doing? Nice. Okay, we got this, Familia. Good job. Boo! I'm the best right, robot! Sir. The power's coming back on now. Haha! <laughs> Nothing scary anymore in the light. Except for the fact I'm that we're still in space and so many miles away from where we were supposed to be. Wait, how far is Saturn? from Earth. Hey, all the little flags. Uh, Sam? Uh huh? Sam, is that you making that noise? I wish. Sam, respond. Cut off the noise. Oh, it's coming back. Uh, Sam, it's happening again. What are you doing? What the fuck is going on? Can you see it? It's. I can't explain it. I, I can feel it. Oh. 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 P to proceed.
Okay, you did four. And then you did W. Shit, I did I can't remember what the first one was. Did you do a different one at the start? Okay, replay. <laughs> Back it on up there, rewind. Okay, so the circle. The Okay. Okay, so circle that this. This is like the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh huh. Simon says. Are we doing another one? Circle. Tetris. Smiley man. That thing. Okay, so circle, Tetris, Smiley Man, and then that thing. Please don't make me Simon Says too much. I'm bad at it when it's not colors. Get a little bit closer, and maybe do one more. It's just an advanced game of Simon Says. Circle. Nike. Tetris. Oh, easy. Circle. Nike. Tetris. But what does it all mean? What's happening? Is the station gonna poop? I don't know why or how you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. Back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. <laughs> I keep giving you the same diagnostic. Shit's fucked. Module EAS-1 is pressurized. The problem must be somewhere else then. Uh, okay, yeah, let's check these. Ah, Module there we go. UN1 hull contact points to EAS3 are unresponsive. This sounds bad. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. Mm -hmm. I'm granting you EVA permission now. These barcodes? The internal airlock hatch is now open. Oh god. Don't open the airlocks! That's scary, I shouldn't go out there! I'm gonna leave this episode here! This seems like a good stopping off point for now, I don't wanna get too involved in it just yet, but this is really, really good. I like this a lot so far. I- I was worried that just controlling like a little robot dude going around the little environments would get a little tedious after a while, but now they give me a little orb that I can fly around in, and I'm my own little man. But visually, amazing. Sound design, amazing. The um, the voice acting's really good. The sound mixing is really good. And the premise so far is really interesting. There's just something so cool about space stuff and anomalies and stuff going weird and wrong all the time that I really like. I like wormholes. I like black holes. I like crazy.